All right. Well, we're finishing up on these carburetors. We've already done the synchronization, so we got the the butterflies synchronized off the bench, and we can fine tune them once we get them on the bike with some uh, vacuum gauges. But now we got to get our fuel level set to make sure our fuel is set right. So what I got is just a basic setup, but there's some things that uh, you got to look for when you're doing this, or else you'll set it up incorrectly. And uh, then you'll have problems thinking that you got it right, but it's not right. So one of the biggest things that throws it off is if you get any air in this little line right here as you bend it up to get it to tell you the height of it. And so what I do is just use a piece of uh, hose that's the same diameter roughly as the little aluminum thing that comes down. And then I just take something and expand it and get it expanded on the end and then just clip it on there. That way it's still pretty thin you don't have a lot of fuel in there and uh, then you can just bend it right out but you got to put a clamp on it or else it'll pop off there when you go to bend it so then all we got to do is just fill it up with fuel and since I got it in the vise if I'm going to have to take the bowl off I go ahead and take the two screws out the one I can't get to back here on the vise and just leave two holding the bowl that way I can unscrew those adjust the float and uh, then check it again so we're going to check this one and see how it is let me get some fuel in here. All right, so let's figure out how not to get a bubble right there. Let me show you. Get the camera a little bit closer. So what I want to do <clears throat> to check it is to bend that pipe up like that. And then that fuel should flow up here right about that seam. Okay, so if we say you know, there's no fuel in it right now, so we're just going to hook it up there and we're going to see where it floats to. And watch this. So when I open it up and let the fuel in, fuel comes around, bubbles come up, and it came pretty close. You'll say, well, okay, well, I'm all right. I'm below the line right there. But we got some bubbles trapped in there. So let me take it out and do it again. So now it's without fuel again. So I set it back up there. And say I blow it out. Okay. Try it again. I went slow that time. And what happened was, if you can see, the camera in there, you can see there's a bubble that's right there. And it goes all the way up. So you can see what it did with this bubble right here. It dropped the fuel level down here. So then you would mistakenly think, oh, well, my fuel level's here. So that bubble is important. So you got to make sure you get all the bubbles out. We'll block it back off and do it again. So what we want to do is flow a bunch and make sure we push all those bubbles out. Let me get it flowing real fast. Let it push all the bubbles out. Close it up. Get it tipped up so the bubbles can't come back. Now we want to empty the line out. You can see the bubble came all the way back to right there. So now I want to keep it lower than where it needs to be. So when I raise it up, I'm shooting for it to get right there. So now let me open it up. So there shouldn't be any bubbles. When this comes up, it ought to go right up to the height right there. And there we go. So it's set right in the spot that it needed to be. So there's no bubbles in there. It ran right up to the line. So we should be in pretty good shape on this one, and we don't have to do anything. Now we can drop it down. If our fuel level wasn't the right height, it's a pretty simple process to uh, straighten out. Let me just get the camera over here so you can see. Right inside of here is the floats. And the float mechanism and there's the shutoff so if our fuel was too low let's say when you did it, it it didn't get up to the height that would mean that the float is shutting off too soon which would mean that that little tiny piece of metal that pushes on the end of the shutoff was too high and so what you would have to do is bend that little piece of metal down just a little and then close it back up and test it again if let's say the fuel was way up here on top and it was getting too much fuel that would mean when the floats came up 
the needle wasn't shutting off. And so you would have to take that little piece of metal and bend it upward just a little bit. Not a lot because a little bit makes a big difference. But you can see what it does is as it comes up, it shuts the fuel off. And since I opened it up, we'll test it one more time and we'll see how it sits. I want to just fill this up. But if you note, if you can see, it's actually not flowing down very fast at all. And so it's like it's got an airlock in it. And so it's not actually going to fill up correctly and get shut off. So what I'm going to do is, this is the diaphragm, the air on top. Of the I'm going to blow in that. And what I'm going to do is uh, break that vacuum. Just blow lightly. If you blow hard, it'll blow gas out. And what that does is let it go ahead and fill. And you'll see that fuel going down faster once it gets to filling up faster than you know you got it. And eventually it'll block off. But if it's just like it's stopping, just do that and then it'll pull it out. There you go. So now it's, it's filling up. So you just want to keep filling until it shuts out. So there'll be a point that it stops going down. And if you want to check it, you can always blow in that. And it'll blow out. It'll put some gas out of the front of the carburetor there, but the level doesn't go down. So now you know the float's full. All right. So now we just do the same thing. We want to get the air out. So we bend our little pot. And we let some fuel flow. Get all the bubbles out. Lock it back off. And we want to bend the pipe over. To get the fuel lower than the measurement we're going to do. Bring it back up here. And hopefully, if there's no air bubbles in there, it ought to rise right up here to where we want it. This is still full. When we open it up, we end up right about where we need to be. So we're right about on that line. Right there, the carburetors are tilted like they should be on the bike. So there we go. So now we're all set up. So, and recap on the important things on setting this uh, level. You got to make sure you don't have any air bubbles here. So however it takes to get them out. For me, it's easier just to use a thin tube, expand it, and then put a clamp on it so it won't fly off there when you bend it. But get it down, get the bubbles out flowing, bring it back up, and then get it so that it's low enough you can measure, and then bring it up here, open it up. The other is that when you're pouring fuel in here, you can either blow on it if you got the pipes on or, or put a little air down in there. And what that'll do is break the air pocket. And all it's going to do is make it come out of the front of the carburetor right over here when you blow on it. It's just going to blow some up. And so it'll drip out of the front. But you shouldn't see that go down when you blow on it. And then that'll tell you that it's full. And so then when you measure it, pour some out. And make sure you don't have any air in there. So just hold that up and measure it. And it should go right back to the same spot each time. So if you lower it down, it'll chase it. And you can see that right there on my thumb is it. So there we go. That's how you set up the uh, float height on a carburetor. And you'll know you got it when everything's cleaned out. You got all the air out when you drain it. Then it should drain out continuously. This will come down fast out of here. And it'll all run out. And that tells you that you got a full system of fuel just like you'd have going down the road. If it comes out and it's like got air in it and doing look like that, but this is still full, that means you got an airlock in there somewhere and it's not going to give you a good measurement. So there we go. We'll check the other side and see how it does. And then we should be good to go on these carburetors. Alrighty. Well, thanks for watching.